Okay, there's a couple of guys on our forum that want to know how to make a monopole magnet. And that is a magnet that has only one pole. Now it can be done, but there is a catch. Um, what we have here is a ball bearing that likes to roll all over the place. Give it sit still. Steel screwdriver. As you can see, it's just a ball bearing. It's not a magnet. Over here, of course, we have a magnet. I've painted one end of the magnet just so you can see that I do in fact turn it around. As you can see one way is one pole and the other way is the other pole. So to get this to become a monopole magnet we have to put it within one of the two fields of a permanent magnet which is what we've done here. Now I've used a speaker magnet and I've mounted six of them little ball bearings in a rotor as you can see and if we take our magnet here which of course is north one end south the other you will see that one end wants to suck the steel ball towards it which is normal and you'll see the other end will actually push the steel ball away like that and it doesn't matter which side you put it on the effect is the same so that's how you create a monopole magnet if this speaker magnet is north up these will carry the fields of that north and the whole ball will become a monopole magnet in itself but the catch is of course it does have to be within a field of a permanent magnet <coughs> as soon as these are removed from that field they of course return back to just a ball bearing but while they are in that field they will of course be attracted to one pole and be repelled by another pole just like that. Um, now you'll see guys that make the what they call a lensless generator by having a fixed magnet, a fixed coil and a rotating steel um, plate to break that field. The reason they will get the lens effect still is because of this very situation the steel plate will become part of the permanent magnet that they are trying to break the fields from. Um, by putting another speaker magnet on top of this device it doubles the strength of the fields within these steel balls and they will repel a like field much stronger than what they are doing here. So like I said, one side will repel and the other side will attract. So that's how you create a monopole magnet. They don't become a permanent magnet, um, but they do remain as a magnet carrying the fields while they're in the vicinity of the fields. So that's how you do it. I don't know if it's any good to you guys in what you're trying to achieve, but that's how it can be done. Okay, cheers from the Tin Men.